let's talk about tension on the Singer Tradition sewing machine. So that is this knob right here, which between three, four, and five, four being the center, is about normal tension. That would be perfect if you have the same weight of thread in the needle as you do in the bobbin. And when the machine is properly cleaned and oiled, check out our cleaning and maintenance video up here when the eye pops up, you will find that you really don't have to adjust the tension. But I'm gonna show you a few times where you might be surprised when to change it and when not to change it. Now, one of the things that people do often ask for, and I'm gonna to have to adjust this tension all the way to zero to get this to maybe give me a little idea. Um, if I'm just stitching along, and you kind of hear the, the machine has kind of got a, a, a sound, maybe it's pulling a little bit, and you the, there's no problem on the top, but when you take a look at the back, you get stitches that look like this. Now, what this is, is usually like an operator error. That means that the thread is not deep enough into the tension discs itself. Now, I had to turn it to zero to get this, because usually when I try to not get it in there, uh, I get, it doesn't look as cool. So, but this on the back is not a tension issue. This is a threading issue. So unthread the machine, and I'm gonna put this all back to normal, is thread the machine, hold on to this thread, and when you bring it down this first groove, give it a little flop and make sure the thread goes deep enough down into the discs. There are two discs that close on the thread, and here's a way to kind of know if you have it all the way in there correctly. Right now, the, with the foot up, it's very loose, but as soon as the foot's down, it should become tight and pull on that needle. That way, you know you won't get this problem. Now, next thing about tension. If you are using two different weights of thread, so like right now, I have a variegated thread because I was just playing with some decorative stitches, and I have this color in my bobbin. So two different brands. This one's technically heavier than the other one. And what I want you to do is think about the two threads as a tug of war team. So I'm gonna set it for a zigzag and the widest setting and we're gonna be at normal tension. So when we do a zigzag, what we wanna have is the stitches to kind of be fairly balanced. So you, you don't see the bobbin thread on the top and you don't see much of the colorful thread, you can, but you can kind of see them. See those little dots on the side? A few is okay because on these stitches, I do want them to pull to the back just a little bit, especially with my decorative stitches. See how you can see just a little bit of that colored thread back there? But let's say you're seeing too much. What we can do is tighten this up. That would make this thread, the one on the needle, a little bit tighter. And I'm gonna go too far. I'm gonna really crank it up. Now I'm gonna start to get some of my pink thread from down below up top. Let me see if I'm seeing that. Oh, not too much. I really have to crank it up for this one. But let me see if I can get it to start to show up here. <laughs> All right, make sure I bring the take-up lever to the highest position before I pull that out. Otherwise, it's not a happy machine. All right, so what I, I'm not seeing the pink at the top just yet, but I could also go the opposite way where I see too much of the colorful thread on the back. So if you loosen one, this one gets tighter. If you tighten this one, then it pulls to the top side. So it kind of depends on the weight of thread. That's why I couldn't really get any change to happen that I could show you when I tightened it between these two particular threads. But let me just see what we get here. All right, so there's that one. Oh yeah, I'm really getting some stitches really kind of loose on the backside. See how there's almost, the bobbin thread is just barely kind of hovering in the middle. So that would be too loose, so tighten that up. So one of two things can happen. Number one, if you don't know which way to go, one's gonna make it worse, one's gonna make it better. But keep in mind that as long as you have your machine threaded correctly, the bobbin's in correctly, and you have a fresh needle and the machine has been cleaned in oil lately, you usually don't have to adjust the tension. Now, if you've done all those things and you still aren't getting a balanced stitch just yet, that's when you're allowed to touch this and adjust it a little to the left or to the right. I do find that if I touch it or turn it at least one whole number or a number and a half worth, I will start to see some results. If you just turn it a little bit, it's no big deal. Now, if you have little fingers in your home, don't be alarmed. If they come and turn all your dials for you, they like to play with dials. It's okay, all you have to do is turn it back to that number four and to the setting that you were looking for. So don't get mad at them just for turning your dial. It will not make or break this machine at all. So again, good quality thread can make a difference. So make sure if you are using like a low quality thread, let's try something a little bit better and you can find quality threads at your local soy machine store.